Hi there, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com. I'm the creator of the Showtime theme. And this video is designed to show you how to create multi-column mega menus in your navigation. So in our cook time demo, you can see this is a four column mega menu. So it, it's a really nice way to break up your navigation if you have a lot of items in there into columns and by categories and so forth. So uh, Shopify has recently changed the way that menus are created. So I felt that it might be wise to update a video to show you how to do it in the new system. So we begin, um, I've got another theme here on another site that I'm playing around with that has no sort of drop down menus at this point. So what we're gonna do first is we have to enable mega menus in the theme settings. So if we go to the theme we wanna edit, choose customize, and once that loads, we were going to play with the header. And as you can see for now, there's no drop down menus associated with these links at all. Click header and make sure that at the bottom here, we have mega menu selected under navigation and the type. And we've got the main menu chosen here as the primary menu. Save that. And obviously that hasn't changed anything because we haven't set up any mega menus yet, but that enables that functionality. So from there, we just need to go to uh, online store, then navigation. And this is kind of what it looks like as it stands right now. We've just got these three items in here. And the new Shopify functionality allows you to drag and drop menu items around to reorder things, and that will update in real time on your site. So in this example, we're going to create um, a four column mega menu that looks similar to this. So we have four headings here with some links underneath. And to do that, we're gonna use this catalog link as the main link. So we just add a menu item and these are gonna be our four columns. So we'll create those first. So I'm just gonna call this column one. And then um, you can either choose a link for these column headings that they can actually click on and go to if you like. Or if you don't want them to be linked to anything, you can simply add a number sign in here or a hash, hash sign, whatever you so choose. Click add. So that fulfills the requirement Shopify has to provide a link for all of the items, but it doesn't actually link anywhere. So now you see that this column one has been generated, but it's showing in the same line as all of these. So that's just going to show um, in the main heading there. So now we can drag it and uh, put it under the catalog. So as you drag it around, you see that it this little arrow shows up and that indicates that this item is now nested below the catalog. So now we can continue to create our columns, call this column two, put in another hash sign there, add, and we'll continue to do this and note that you can have two or three columns as well as four. So there's no limitation there and it will show accordingly. Add that, add, looks like I just named this column. Let's call it column three, column four. Okay, so that with that being done, We'll save this and kind of get an idea of what our navigation menu is looking like. So I'll open the link over here. You can see there's now a drop down under catalog. And since we don't have any um, additional links associated yet, it's just created a regular drop down menu for now. That's just where we start. So now we need to nest further menus. So again, we'll add a menu item to catalog. We'll call it sub one, and we'll link this to all products. And now we wanna drag this under column one. So now we've got three levels here. Go ahead and add another one, sub two, products, all products. Of course, you can link these however you wish. So that's enough for there. Now we will go ahead and add another item. So for this add menu to column one to show, we first have to create one and then drag it. So we'll add this. 
sub call two, sub call one, forgot to put a link, all products add. Now we will drag this below column two, sub call two, products, all products add. And we will just um, add a couple here, sub call three, page about us, drag that under column three, and sub call four, logs news add, drag that under column four. So now if we save this menu, Theoretically, we should have a mega menu appearing. So we'll go back to our test store, reload it, and there we have it. So you have column one, column two, column three, column four, with the links that I've added showing in the nesting that we want. So hopefully that makes it a little easier for you to figure out how to create these mega menus. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, and thank you for using the Showtime theme.